And we're here today looking at the workhorse Primus automatic flash gear unit. This is an 18 by 20 inch automatic flash gear unit. This unit has a little foot pedal here uh, that you can put at the base of your uh, printing station. You just press your foot down on it and this flash gear unit will automatically spin over your shirt and flash gear your shirt. It's got a timer to it and uh, when uh, the time is up it automatically moves back out of the way again. Beauty of this flash gear unit is multifold. First of all, you don't have to worry about burning any shirts anymore. No more scorched garments. You set the time for whatever time you need. And uh, even if you got to go answer the telephone, walk away or whatever, uh, your shirt's not going to catch on fire. It's going to be just perfectly cured each time. Second benefit is that uh, we can now take our flash and lower our flash cure unit down very close to the shirt. Um, that will further reduce our flash cure times uh, by being so close. So we can literally get a uh, two second flash uh, on uh, light laydowns of ink on typical you know white t-shirts. Um, this is a wonderful addition to any screen print shop. The increases in productivity are huge. Uh, you'll see when you do uh, printing on nylon jackets especially uh, that uh, controlling your heat is of absolute essence. You don't want too much heat. You don't want to uh, get any more shrinkage than necessary. You also see this on sweatshirts that you're going to print and uh, virtually any kind of material. Too much heat is always bad to the process. So the automatic flash unit not only is going to speed things up, but it's also going to save you uh, damaged garments and it's going to give you a better quality product. So I just want to take a look at some of the features on this machine here. At the back of the uh, flash head, we have a uh, on-off switch here uh, to, uh, to turn the heat on and off. And uh, this is a uh, what looks to be like an aerodynamic uh, flash head here. The true purpose of this is twofold. First, um, we want to have adequate uh, cooling for the uh, high temperature uh, infrared heating panel that's under here. So we've got some uh, cooling fins up here. Uh, we've got a plenty of room for airflow. And uh, as you come underneath here, you can see the infrared uh, uh, panel. This is a high uh, intensity panel that gets up to 650 to 800 degrees. It's 18 by 20 inches in size. It lets you do a nice big oversized uh, flash. And uh, this, is, this is really uh, uh, an, ex an excellent piece for getting the job done. And then the second thing that we want to talk about here, why this, uh, why this cool aerodynamic shape, is uh, we want to be able to clear the screen, okay? When you have a screen on your printing press, being tapered down at the front here allows you to clear the screens much more easily. Um, looking at the base uh, of the uh, auto flash, uh, this is our base right here, and this is where our power plugs into, and this is where our foot pedal uh, comes and plugs and plugs into here. We have uh, a couple of things here. First, we have our dwell timer back here. Our dwell timer uh, we can set for any number of seconds that we'd like and uh, you know more or less time depending upon how long we'd like to flash for. Ideally what you're going to do is as you start a job the boards tend to heat up and flashing gets faster so you'll just come over and knock the, knock the dwell time down a little bit so you can pick production speeds up. You've got your on off power switch here um, you've got a circuit breaker right here and uh, you've also got two modes I don't know if you can see here but you have auto mode and you have manual mode auto mode is what you're typically going to use auto mode is going to be when you press the foot pedal the flash comes in and it's going to time itself out it's counting down and then it moves out of the way automatically um, now auto manual mode some printers prefer to use manual mode for certain jobs and I'll just take the foot pedal here and I'll squeeze it with my hands uh, and as I'm squeezing it, the, as, as I let go of the as I let go of the foot pedal, the flash stops wherever I've let it go. So uh, you have complete versatility with this. You either go auto mode, or if you want to control every aspect of the flash, you can use the manual mode. Um, and uh, we'll look at the base of this flash cue unit here. We've got uh, four heavy duty legs. Uh, they've got locking casters on them right here, so you can lock this down so the flash doesn't walk across your floor. Uh, you know, while you're working with it. You can adjust the height of the flash. The height of the flash is adjusted by putting an Allen key through this hole here and just twisting uh, and unlocking a lock knot and uh, then you're good to go. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about the electric for this unit here. Just give me one second while I go off camera while I unplug here. Okay, so here's the plug. This is a nice heavy industrial grade plug here, okay? This plug is designed to go into a 30 amp uh, into a 30 amp receptacle. Um, this flash uses just a little bit over 20 amps, but electric code to be absolutely safe says we got to go on a 30 amp plug. Uh, do yourself a favor, get a qualified electrician if necessary, but get a receptacle to match, or you can do like we've done here, and you can see we've dropped from the ceiling, we've dropped the drop cord here, and at the end of the drop cord, 
out we have uh, the matching twist lock uh, receptacle. Um, this is a great way to go in most shops, dropping all of your, uh, dropping all your electric from the ceiling, gets it out of the way, eliminates trip hazards, and, uh, and does a super job. So anyway, that's what we've got here on the Primus automatic flash key unit. This flash will definitely pay its weight uh, uh, in very short time. A uh, typical shop will see a payback period of less than six months on an auto flash based on your increases in productivity. So please give us a, a better look here and uh, consider buying a Primus automatic flash.